So in this video, I'm just going to, I'll bring myself back. I know you appreciate that. So we are going to just write comments for those different sections. And those different sections, we're really making the prediction function y hat. So make prediction function y hat, I'll just write as y hat is equal to beta naught. So for some given, this is not training beta naught, this is for some given beta naught plus beta one x okay so this is the prediction function we need which is going to be something and i'm not going to promise this is our final uh ways of writing the code but it's going to look something like define prediction okay or we call it let's say define y hat which is a function and i've been writing a lot of r code so i'm kind of thinking in r uh define y hat is going to be a function of beta naught which we'll write like that beta one, which we'll write like that, and then an x value, okay? And we'll just write pass for now, which just means I'm not really, I'm not making the function quite yet, okay? So we're gonna need to do that, which just makes a prediction. It just says, okay, given these beta naught and beta one that you gave me, and this x value, then what is the continuous y value? So let me get rid of myself again. So basically that's right here, y hat, is simply a function of beta naught plus beta one and x. That's all it's gonna do. And in fact, we can actually write that very easily is all this function is, is it is going to return, my head just rolled onto the ground, return beta naught plus beta one times x. That's it, that's the entire function. So the next piece that we need is the MSE or the mean squared error function. So I'm gonna write that as a comment make mse mean squared mean squared error function okay and it's going to look something like this if i go back to the ipad for a moment i can show you the different pieces is basically we're going to assume that we have the the list and we'll treat it as a python list for now in very soon we're going to get to numpy and using these kind of treating things as vectors but i'm going to i'm going to leave it without the linear algebra stuff at all so not even the concept of a vector if you've heard of that i'm going to leave that out for now so if i was to look at the ipad basically the mse is this function right here so it's something that takes in n well n is actually just the length or the amount of data that we have we need the list of predictions, and I'm going to use Python lists, ignoring NumPy and those libraries for now. I'm going to do it all in just Python, so there's no concept of linear algebra and vectors yet. We have the list of the predictions that we uh, that we got. We also have the y values. Okay, so for whatever data that we we're given, which at some point it was x and a bunch of x and y's, it was these things. We have now gotten it. We're assuming at this point that we have all of the y's, so that's straight from the data. But then for each of those x, y pairs, we have made a prediction here. For this, for this y value, it has an x value, we use that to predict here. For this y value, it has an x value here, we use that to predict this. So y hat is going to be, it's our list of our different predictions corresponding one to one with the y's. y prediction, y prediction, y prediction. So we have all of those things. And that is really, those are the two things that we would need for this function. So we're going to say, define y, not y, define MSE, which is going to take the y's, which I'll write just like this, y's and y hats. Okay, and they are going to be actually implemented as Python lists, but for now we're just gonna call it the y's and the y hats. And n is, you could give n as well, except you could just get that from the length of either of these two vectors because they are the same length. So I'm just going to leave this as pass for now. It is technically going to just return some, some value. Same like this, this returns a continuous value anywhere from negative infinity to infinity. And this is going to, that should be indented. We're just going to leave it as that for now, which does nothing. So finally, we have our, our last really important piece is just training to get the right beta naught and beta one. So these are just formulas that say, okay, given these, this X, these, this list of X's and this list of Y's, that would be the same Y's we'd give here. So this would be a function, which is basically define train params. 
okay? It doesn't matter what you call it, but its job is to train parameters. It's going to spit out a beta naught and beta 1 that gives you the line that you want. And on the iPad, I can show over here, it would give you the beta naught that gave this line. Okay, so this beta naught right here and this slope. And that is from that is from this formula based off of the data. So I'm not going to write this function quite yet, just the, the syntax right above. It's going to take in the x's, okay, so the list of x's, the list of y's. We'll make those both Python lists. Of course, there's different ways to, to make the parameters here. This could have been simply one variable, which is uh, maybe a list of tuples, a list of the pairs x, y, but we're going to say it's the, the x's and then the y's, which better have the same length. And that is actually all you would need technically, but we're going to include also params here, which I'll show you how to pass it later. Basically, what we're going to do is have some dummy thing params is equal to a dictionary. It's going to be a dictionary, which I'll have beta zero. I'll write like this, actually, like with an underscore beta zero. And we're going to start it off with some dummy value, which will be one. I don't know why I was having so much trouble writing that. We'll say it just has some dummy value of one or zero or whatever. And then beta one also has some dummy value, just something that's wrong for now. So technically this is, this is fine. You have, you have some line, except what this is going to do after we call this and we pass params as a variable here, we're going to adjust, adjust params. So we're going to do adjust adjust beta zero beta zero and beta one to get the right formula or based off of the formula that's how we're going to compute beta zero and beta one and but for now i will just leave it as pass okay so in the next video we will go over making these two functions i'll see you then